ahead next. Today we got a history video. It's a little different than what we normally do here on this channel, where I normally discuss the things going on in our modern world, the stupid politics, stupid politicians, that kind of thing. This one's more about my stupid ancestors and what we got up to back in the old country. Anyway, hope you like it. Hope you share it. Hope you comment. All that other stuff. Anyway, here we go. On the 18th of June in 1875, a fire began in a whiskey storehouse in Dublin. As the heat built up in the storehouse, the 5,000 whiskey barrels stored there began to explode from the heat. Soon, a six-inch deep torrent of flaming whiskey was flowing through the streets of Dublin. The 262,500 gallons, or 1.193 million liters, valued at approximately $6 million, adjusted for inflation, were truly an Irishman's wet dream. But transplanted New York fire captain James Robert Ingram had a plan. This was the same guy that had saved Dublin's harbor years prior from a flaming ship by sinking the ship and refloating it once the fire was out. To say he thought outside the box is a little of an understatement. He began having his firemen pull up paving stones. He then had them take the sand and gravel underneath and begin dumping it on the fire, hoping to, you know, stop the flood. Sand being porous, the whiskey flowed right through it and continued burning. Uh, it burned down a house, a whole row of houses, I believe. But anyway, he realized the sand wasn't working. So, Dublin being a city back in the, it was 1875, so there was lots of livestock. Most people had them in their homes. And they just took carts full of, of animal manure and began making dams in the streets to block and soak up the whiskey. Well, this, this worked. And it, it did save a bunch of the city, so, I mean, kudos to him. Now, you would assume that given the scale and scope of the fire, that the 13 deaths would be attributed to burn injuries or smoke inhalation, something like that. But no, no. The Irish are going to Irish. And the 13 deaths were from alcohol poisoning, as well as the 11 hospitalizations. No injuries from the fire whatsoever. Yeah, the Irish are going to Irish. And, you know, that, folks, those are my ancestors. Kind of explains a little bit about me. Anyway, that's my history lesson for today. It's a rather short one. Hope you like it. Hope you comment. Hope you share. It really does help out the smaller YouTube channels, such as myself, when our subscribers think that what we put out is worthy of being shared. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the story. Hope you got a laugh out of it. I heard this, and I just thought I got to make a video. It's just too funny, tragic, and odd not to. God bless you all. See you on the next one.